See the brothers duke it out in winners finals, dude. If Goblin wins this, it's going to be Tofi versus Goblin winners finals. So it's gonna be brother versus brother. All right. Yeah, did they pick the right side, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They picked the right side. Let's get the ball rolling. All right. From what I'm looking at. It looks like, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's not top eight yet. Okay, we're almost at top eight. We're almost uh, to it. So we're running all of winners on stream right now so we could uh, possibly slow it down. It doesn't look like that really happened, but. Um, Why did I die at 80? Really looking to see how this plays out. Two Pikachus, uh, well. The evolutions of Pikachu. We have that Pichu and Pikachu. Oh, Lightning is gonna get him, but it seems like he was able to get out of, out of the setup. Like he's so tiny, like he wasn't able to grab him. We have to also be aware that every time that Pichu uses a Lightning ability, he does take damage. So he, uh, in my opinion, has that small disadvantage. It's not necessarily uh, big. At most, you give, take away yourself like seven percent in your whole stock, as it only does like in half percent. Oh, deciding not to get onto that ledge, really a uh, good mix-up right there from Goblin. Goblin really is just showing uh, a love that he's the better uh, Pokemon player right here. Oh, not landing appropriately, he did not get the proper hit that he wanted right there and was uh, just took damage for it. Goblin at a really high percent. Pichu should be able to get this kill if he gets the grab on him. Like nothing, nothing. We're looking it out. Die. It's good grab. He does not get the lightning. We do see that Pichu get that down air, but it seems like it's a little late. Pichu's already at kill percent. Being a 90 and being the lightest character in the game, he is... Uh, easily taken out. It's gonna be a spike, so it's not gonna uh, uh, push him far enough. Oh, he's kind of trying to go for the same setup. Uh, it seems like a wolf is seems to be figuring him out. He does get a good hit on him. He does recover properly. He does get that rec uh, attack recovery. What's up? Uh, we have right now. Uh, we're looking at winners semis. We have uh, we have winners finals, and then we have the losers bracket, which is going on right now outside of stream. <laughs> Ooh, he almost breaks shield. Yes. Seems like he's... Oh, he isn't going to be able to get it. Uh, Goblin really uh, deciding to time his recovery right there. Goblin still being able to recover. Pikachu's recovery is just so insane. Trying to go for that grab. He's not going to be able to get it. Oh. Ah! Pichu smaller. Uh, he's not going to be able to even reach. He doesn't even hit the shield right there. Pichu does get that grab. Even... Uh... Awkward situation right there, but it doesn't even matter. There was no pressure right there. God, a wolf is gonna take game one. Hey, if they ask, it's a best of five, bro.
Oh my goodness. It seems like, um, uh, and just getting back onto it, Goblin is at 122, 125. He does seem to be at a disadvantage, and now the first game it seemed like it was more in favor of Goblin, but now it seems like a wolf kind of figured him out. Great tilt from a wolf. Uh, it seems like he wasn't going to be able to reach, but he just clipped him. Uh, I guess that's just the situation with Petri. He's so tiny and so, uh, so small, but he packs a massive punch. Uh, really decide good neutral uh, and decision from Goblin deciding to stay back knowing that uh, kind of reading and predicting how uh, a wolf was gonna decide to play that one out well can he use a up B right there but it was a very awkward situation Pichu managing to get that uh, that down B special and he was able to get a good chunk of damage Looking for a tilt, like he's not going to get it. Oh, bad positioning right there from Goblin. He does it again. He does get this grab this time around. It, even though Pichu uh, is a less percent, it kind of feels like Goblin and uh, is in the same situation. Really good uh, pressure right there. He tries to finish him off. He's going to get onto that odd oh, stage, and he's not in a good spot. Oh, he is going to fall. He needs to get a grab. He needs to finish uh, this Pichu off before he does too much damage. Pikachu is light himself. So while Pichu, oh wow, a really good. Uh, was it seems like he grabbed onto stage and then he did an up up air. Gonna try to avoid this. Really good decision from Goblin. He didn't get a really good tech there coming out from a wolf. Oh. Kind of trying to block, not going to get it. Oh, really smooth from a wolf. And Goblin is now at a massive disadvantage with it being 2-0 for ill wolf. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like we might get ourselves a 3-0. Winner semis, uh, remember the winner of this will be playing against Toffee in winner's finals as we're about to reach our top eight. Slow transition on my part. There we go. All right, there we go. Uh, seems like we're starting off pr pretty, pretty calm down, pretty chill. Uh, kind of has to slow down the momentum we don't goblin does not want to be taken out uh in this point in the game he does kind of get that super saiyan spike uh he does play uh, a little bit better when he's at, at a disadvantage hey how'd you do dude i'd be hope to oh oh boy did they update Damn. the bracket bro yeah they did it i had to play louis next did i was doing pretty solid it looks like yeah it seems like a wolf ha uh, has he was struggling in the first game, uh, but like right after that, he seems to have Red Goblin completely. Oh, I see. They've been playing uh, Pikachu, Pichu the whole set. Yeah, they haven't switched at all. I know that only a Wolf picks any something different. Goblin's completely dedicated to Pikachu. I see. I always thought um, Pichu was the better Pokemon. Oof. Weirdly enough, but um, I've never seen them actually fight, so I don't know how the matchup goes. Goblin doing really good about coming back though. We have to consider though that El Wolf has better perform, uh, has had better performance throughout uh, this season compared to Goblin. It's crazy how uh, great El Wolf has been recently. I would say that both of these players used to be on the same level, but El Wolf showing recently that he's on another level. Goblin needs to keep up, and Goblin thinks he can't keep up, so that's what he's trying to show us. But right now, it just looks like El Wolf keeps like frame trapping him. Oh, the oh thunder. my goodness, he sneaked that one through. El Wolf kind of shaking it off, you know, he's like, I'm a Pikachu, I used to be a Pikachu main, I should have known, you know. It was really, it was really sneaky, uh, that was the first time he actually tries that, so, it, oh, really good dodge right there. You know, both of these characters very good on uh, edge guarding off stage, so, you know, they're both used to just keeping on attacking and attacking and attacking, so it probably threw him off guard that he just did the jump down B off stage. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was what an odd situation. Oh. That tilt is going to take it. Pichu, oh, he's at kill. kill percent. 
Uh, I mean, he's wow. such a light character. He's gonna take it. We're gonna go to game four. A possible uh, a reverse sweep if Goblin plays it right. So I remember you asked me earlier what's the differences. I know two main differences. Peach, Peach's he's Thunder. So happy. Look at Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu's so really cute. happy, <laughs> and the way he's so cute just destroys Pikachu's mana game. Now uh, I was gonna say. Uh, the Thunder, with Pichu, whatever direction you're facing, that's where they go. With Pikachu, it goes to wherever, what site they're on, I think. And Pichu has his forward tilt, which is a spammable kill move. It's ridiculous. And Pikachu's forward tilt has just like a cute forward tilt. Like, it, it's not really known to do that much besides put someone in an untackable situation to like try to get like a jab block or something. I also noticed that Pichu's down, I think it was, it's his down tilt. I believe it's his down tilt that... I think kills at like a hundred and ten. It confirms that really like uh, a decent amount. Was that mine? The water? Yeah. Probably hopes. <laughs> All right. So we're going back to the we're same stage. We're at two, two one. one. Like hope hope Goblin wins because memes, but also, <laughs> but also um, um, it'd be a chance to Goblin to show himself. He, he always uh, says he's really good, but, you know, so does a wolf, hey, you know? Hey, Raptor yesterday was, like, saying, like, you know what, I can be an anomaly, and he almost did, you know? It's these yeah. upsets that everybody's looking for. Yeah, dude, and, you know, when you're non-existent like me and Wolf, we're looking for <laughs> all the upsets we can get, you know? <laughs> Come on, man, why do you gotta call yourself out like that? <laughs> dude, everyone everyone says we're non-existent. Oh, nice thunder draw. So bad. Oh, again. Nice. Everybody puts you on there. Oh, almost got it. He dodged and wasn't able Yikes. to up be in time. He dodged a thunder, yeah? Forward tail, dude. Oh, my goodness. He even oh. did out really easily. Yeah, dude. Forward tail spammable, and it's good, you know? The only problem with it is it's a tiny hitbox. You got a match. All right. All right. Good luck, man. Right here? All right. Soon to be on stream. Okay, we still have Goblin trying his best. He is... Well, like, it's always weird in these situations because you do have to understand that Pichu's percent is very uh, odd because he's such a light character. He's so easy to kill, but he does so much. Kind of, uh, He's the glass cannon of uh, Smash. And we're just waiting to see how this one turns out. Like I said, like it looks so... Even but Pichu does get that kill confirmed. He tries to get that smash attack. Seems a little predictable for L Wolf. He kind of figured him out. They both do an attack. They both get hit for it. He's gonna get that forward air. Oh! Seems like Goblin messed up his uh, lightning, so he wasn't able to get it. Remember that the winner of this will be playing against Toffee, so I'm really curious as to how either one of them will perform against the Sword Master that is Toffee since he plays all the Fire Emblem characters. Seems like we got... Oh, he's not going to get a grab. A bad dodge right there. This is Goblin's last match stock if he doesn't manage... This is going to be the match point for a wolf if he plays it right and out of his mind. He's going to go for a dash attack, really deciding to play a uh, uh, very aggressive situa situation right there. Another dash attack that dodge down is going to misplace him. That a wolf deciding not to really play anything aggressive. He's trying to slow down his neutral game. He does get that tilt. He does almost try to finish him off. Go Goblin still survives. It seems like a very... Uh, odd situation where both of them pushed each other very far away. We have that Pichu looking for something he wants to look. He's just damaging himself by throwing things out carelessly right there, but he doesn't care. He has one more stock than Goblin, and it's gonna be able to take it. And we're sending Goblin to losers, and El Wolf is gonna stay. Hey, you're staying, bro. Hey, hey, tell him to stay. Tell El Wolf to, like he's staying. He's playing again. Toffee's right there. 